Okay, so there's there's two ways that we can uh, actually deploy our, our VMs uh, in, into vSphere. One is of obviously build it within something like VMware Workstation. The other is that we upload an ISO and then we build it in our cloud. Uh, and that's that's quite a convenient way because it means that we can really start to build large-scale infrastructures and share our ISO across uh, the cloud. So in this case, uh, what I've done already is I've uploaded an ISO in here. So you can see I've got Windows 8 and Windows 2008 server. Okay, it's fairly easy just to upload from our local machine onto our data storage. Obviously these are very large uh, files so often you would do it on a fixed network uh, within a company. So we'll go ahead and we'll create our VM from our ISO. Okay, so we'll just select new VM and we'll just take a typical one and we'll give it a name. Uh, so let's go for Windows 8.1. I will put it into production and to SOC Lab. Let's put it in the cluster. And put it into a resource pool. And then we'll put it onto one of our data storages. Okay, so in this case we're going to install the Windows 8 64-bit and we'll give it a network adapter that we've created and we'll give it 32 gig and then we'll go for thin provisioning which will just create enough disk space or use enough disk space as is actually used on the VM. Okay, so this is set up. So now what we want to do is to go into our VM OK, so we just open the console so you can see it booting So if we just let it boot then it's going to try to boot off the network and it doesn't actually have a boot partition on it so the, the VM will struggle generally. Okay, so this is this is what you get. It just continually try to boot from the network. So what we've got to do is that we've got to boot it and then attach uh, the ISO as a CD drive. So we just power it off. And we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so even if we attach the CD drive, it still won't boot. What we need to do is to delay the start and then connect the CD drive when it's starting. So let's do that. It's obviously got to be powered off before we can set this up. Okay, so there is our CD drive. What we're going to do is that we're going to mount our ISO onto there but only once it's started. So we'll let it boot. But what will happen is that we won't have enough time between it booting. It will boot very quickly and we won't have enough time to to connect our, our CD drive. So what we normally do is we give it a delay, in this case of a number of milliseconds. It will delay for 10 seconds, in this case before it actually tries to boot from the network. So this will give us enough time to be able to connect our CD drive and get it connected. Okay, so that says all ready to go. Okay, so we'll just power it on. We've got to quickly now connect the CD drive within 10 seconds and hopefully it'll boot. So we need to change the BIOS. And it, so normally you press F2 to 
shouldn't be able to get into the BIOS and then that will be us. Okay, so we'll just start it up and we'll press F2 lots of times. And hopefully we can get into the BIOS. Press it now. And I did manage to get it then. Try again. Okay, we'll just power it off. Open our console. Put it up, and this time I'll wait for the for the boot options to show. Press F2 now. Ah, so the problem was that I didn't click on the screen when I was pressing F2. OK, so we find our CD drive and then we want to promote that up. Shift plus. And so it will now boot from the, the drive rather than from the hard disk or from the network. I'll save the changes. And so just let me mount the CD drive before it does that. OK, so now our CD is in and it's Windows 8 and it's going to boot from the CD. So obviously you could press escape here and it would give you the boot menu and you can boot from the CD. OK, so it's just starting up Windows 8. Windows 8 install is actually quite quick compared to previous versions. here is I've actually put in the wrong CD drive but it shows the principle uh, this is select I must have selected the Windows 2008 as my data storage uh, but it shows the principle of be able to mount the drive 